the thing that was nice about Secrets and Lies is that I knew it was exactly a year. I knew what was going to happen. I don't want to make this any harder for the girls that don't know what it has been. At the end of that year, at the end of the 10 episodes, I would be done with Christy Crawford. I could say goodbye. You were such a joy. Hard to believe 17 years of marriage has gone in the stroke of a pen. Well, she's an interesting woman. I thought the complexity and, and what they allowed to develop between Christy and Ben was so interesting because I think it's a heightened reality. It's not every day, but by the same token, it actually is. You know, this could happen to anyone. And I loved the everyman aspect of someone you know, your husband, your brother, you know, someone who's the father of your children is the potential candidate for for having a discovery like this if they leave the house. I mean, it's it's one of those things where it could happen in life. Open the damn door! And then you step into the next phase of development, which is this was his child. He's the boy I watched go out of diapers running in my front yard, was discovered dead, not far from our home. I mean, that is like, ugh, puts a chill through me even talking about it. Hey. One thing they did encourage on the show was that you do a scene many different ways and you do it as if you are in fact the killer, as if you are not at all the killer. You are horrified by the notion of what's happening. Like you really got to exercise your muscles because we didn't know the answer. So if you don't know the answer, you get to really play with your creativity. Oh, I am too, but you got to stay calm. God, what? Don't even say it. It's been hours. And that was one of the things they talked to me about in the room that day that they weren't going to let us know, that we were going to know when it was appropriate, and they may not let us know at all. All right, that's the other line. It could be news. When they filmed the show in Australia, they got the cast together and videotaped, revealing to them who the murderer was, and people were devastated, left the room, crying, you know, all this stuff. So I didn't want to know, and I thought, well, I'm glad a camera's not going to be on me when I'm watching it, but it'll be in the comforts of my home much time later. But I'm really interested based on how many alternatives they gave themselves. So you still don't know? I don't know. Did Elaine call you? Yes, she did. Just as Abby, I don't know what she's capable of. Officers are on their way to you right now. 